Hello, welcome to 90.5 The Night, Brookdale Public Radio and Brookdale Television. My name is Jeff Raspi from Brookdale Public Radio, and it is my pleasure to welcome today the Bouncing Souls. Hey, What's up, Jeff? how are you? What's up, man? Brian, Greg, and Pete, the original Bouncing Souls, who have recently celebrated their 20th anniversary as a, as a working, living band, um, still going around the world, repping New Jersey. Yeah, and, Ooh, uh, doing our best. <laughs> and um, 2009 happened to be the 20th anniversary of the band, which uh, was not only special in and of itself, because, fr frankly, how many bands last 20 years? Um, like five. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I th isn't the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame you have to be recording for 25 years to be uh, in the running? I think it's 25 years. So you still got a ways to go, but then we're going to write you in. All right. Cool. We're going to write you into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We actually played there. Th really? We actually performed there when the Warp Tour, they did a Warp Tour exhibit there, and we performed there at the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we're actually fun. part of an exhibit in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cool. Part of the Warped Tour exhibit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Punk rock in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And, uh, Good thought. <laughs> and, and you guys are... Unbelievably busy. A band 20 years on, one of the premier punk rock bands, you should be able to rest a while. But no, you're, you're really busy, and you don't have a lot of time with us today. Um, but we do want to have you play a few songs, and uh, we'll chat for a bit as well. Um, uh, I did want to bring up the, the download series that you were doing all of 2009 in celebration of your 20th anniversary, um, which has been compiled into a new album. That's which right. will be coming out, I guess, very shortly. 20, what, the 12th? 12th? Oh. Jan <laughs> 18th? <laughs> yeah. January. Sometime in January 2010. Soon. Um, Early to mid-January. And it's called Ghost on the Boardwalk, which happened to be one of my favorite songs on the download series Cool. as cool. well. And uh, I think you guys are going to not do that one, but do one of the ones from the new album and from the download series That's right. here for us today. So thanks. One, two, one, two, three, four. home for the first time when you were 17 searching for a life beginning a new dream you drove your car all night to learn your way around no one else in sight in a parking lot downtown so much life to live so much love to give So sad it's not the end of the world We've seen this film before Already know the ending Some of the faces change The plot, it stays the same Take my hand Let's walk away See in a world where nothing's free, your innocent beauty was slipping quietly. With every step you found, no one to understand. Why would you feel so down? No one to really see what a woman you could be. Hey, little girl. Look so sad, it's not the end of the world I've seen this film before Already know the ending Some of the best has changed The plot, it stays the same You gave your heart Every moment when no one cared They made you small They couldn't make you fall
some of the faces change The blood stays the same Take my hand Take my hand Take my hand Let's walk away It begins innocently enough. You don't return a phone call. You break a date at the last minute. But in fact, it's the beginning of a pattern. And soon, your friend with mental illness realizes you're avoiding them. But what if you knew that your friendship was the key to their recovery? Would you still lock them out of your life? For information on how to intern or volunteer at Brookdale Television, BTV at brookdalecc.edu. Uh, that's one of the new songs that are going to be on the uh, new album, Ghosts on the Boardwalk, which is a compilation of the songs that were part of the download series, um, all 12 of them. And so does that mean you guys are about to go on the road again? <laughs> No, we did everything backwards. <laughs> Usually, uh, you're supposed to record, put out your CD, then go on the road. We recorded, put out digital downloads, toured all year, and now our CD's coming out and we're not going on tour. <laughs> Me going nowhere. <laughs> Stay home. Well, that's good. For once, you can, you can chill at home for a little bit. Literally. Yeah. So the, I, was, I was actually going to ask you that. Did, did you record all of the songs that were part of the download series and then actually weren't... Um, they were they were put in a, into uh, seven inch EPs yes as well throughout the year. Well, it was kind of so fun. So you recorded all those. We recorded most of it in the fall of two thousand eight and through the winter, but then we didn't mix it all. We mixed it all throughout the whole year, so they weren't done until they were just about ready to come out. Okay. So that was fun. It was all a different way of doing things, which was the point from the beginning. Instead of doing it the way everyone's been releasing music for the past twenty thirty years now with the technology, everything's changing. So. Just want to do something different. Yeah, and, and for you know old folks like myself, I thought it was, it's it's a good idea to then take the year's downloads and make them the next record. Yeah, it made sense. Yeah. Exactly, and everything's done already. We weren't actually even <laughs> planning on putting out a CD. You know, that was part of our concept too. Like originally, yeah, we didn't really know. Like maybe we won't put out. Just nobody, the maybe nobody cares. You know, yeah, nobody yeah. wants CDs anymore. It's antiquated. You know. Uh, then like technology, but as like the whole year went on, you know, a lot of people. Everybody were like, was asking, the CD? "Where's the CD?" So like, yeah. put it out. That's good. Everybody. That's, That's good. And I'm sure, and and you know, digital being king nowadays too. Although I'm sure while you guys were out on the road, um, in the punk rock community, they probably really dug the fact that you were going to have seven inch singles. Yeah, well, seven inch is definitely because that's like, yeah. everyone can you know, like, could find like their own like um, medium that. Like What's your whatever format whatever medium those. you're comfortable with. Seven inch <laughs> CD. Yeah. Because, oh. um, uh, I mean, I happen to think vinyl's going to come back for a lot of people, but in the punk rock community, it's never gone away. Yeah. They True. still love yeah. having vinyl. Like little works of yeah. art, you know, They're just yeah. cool things. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's great about it. Um, and all of these things are, are happening on your label, Chunk Saw. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, which you started, I think, at the beginning, right? So that's that's probably 20 years old, too. Uh, almost. Uh, not quite. Not quite, actually. That'll <laughs> be our next anniversary. 93. Like Chunksa, 93. Somewhere around there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but that's years. actually something that a lot of people are doing now, and like in the last five or ten years, is just starting up their own label for their own releases because the major you label system is crumbling. More, yeah, and it's, and it's a lot more easy than it yeah. used to be. Or yeah, I mean, the, you know, the, the hardest part was always distribution, and thanks to the World Wide Web, yeah. everyone has worldwide distribution. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but I, you guys, I think, have taken it a step further, not only lasting for 
whatever that equals, 18 years. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't even know. Um, and uh, but you've also signed and released other bands yeah. as well. And and not for nothing, I I have to give you props for bringing back the wacky hijinks of. Oh yeah, yes. thank you very much. <laughs> but you know, it's important oh. for us to mention too here that Kate, who really manages the label, and Zach, who they both do most of the work at the label <laughs> and we're not like plugging away at the label but that's important to mention Kate yeah, and absolutely. Zach now we're absolutely. talking about the label and we should also mention Michael oh yeah the drummer. the drummer guy the drummer guy, oh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> <laughs> who happens to not be here today um, yeah. but yeah the, the, uh, the reissue the deluxe reissue of Adrenaline ODs the wacky hijinks of was one, one, one of the greatest ideas I'd ever heard when yeah. that was what two years ago last year mm -hmm. a couple of years, two years ago, ago think, now. yeah yeah because um, they're at, they're a band that uh, paved the way yeah know? pretty much I mean they, history they, right yeah there. I mean that's that's not only Jersey music history it's Jersey punk rock history yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I guess they probably <clears throat> predated you guys by five or six years yeah we overlapped a little bit like we played with them once mm -hmm. might have been one of our sh first shows ever. 90, 91, somewhere yeah, the around Pipeline, there. Pipeline, which is a club in Newark that doesn't exist anymore. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that was a beautiful thing, as, as well as bringing back bands like Weston and, yeah. I mean, all the things. And I think on your Home for the Holidays shows, you've had a number of chunks of bands yeah. mm -hmm. playing the bill as well, which, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be about that camaraderie. Mm -hmm. Community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it, you know, props to you guys for keeping it going. Um, I think you're going to play us another song now. Yeah, yes, we have the pizza song off our the gold record. Cool. Yeah. Bouncing Souls here on BTV and Brookdale Public Radio. Hi, I'm Joe Perry. And Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, here for Red. Recording artists, actors, and athletes against drunk driving. Let someone you know get behind the wheel if they've been drinking. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Saving lives in the world's poorest countries. Winning the fight against global AIDS and extreme poverty. There aren't two sides to these issues. There is only one. Please vote. One.org. On a dark street, on a cold night, pizza's cooking in a storefront oven. On the corner, a boy is waiting. Sing us a hundred songs If these walls could talk They say they'd seen it coming all along Tony's making slice pies For the lunch rush Stirring the sauce Pounding out the dough His brother left town with his girl She ain't his girl no more Some days they seem to never end So mundane in this old town Ready to burst into driving Burning, exploding sound If these walls could sing Sing us a hundred songs If these walls could talk They say they'd seen it coming May all these walls we've made In our 
our wasted years and days not stand in our way that we may feel the winds of change change could sing they'd sing us a hundred songs if these walls could talk they'd say they'd seen it coming all along if these walls could sing information on how to intern or volunteer at Brookdale Television, BTV at brookdalecc.edu. Cover your tracks. By purchasing digital music online, you can help conserve the oil consumed in transporting CDs to and from the store. Answer the call. lose their babies to gun crimes. You'll always be your mother's baby. So before you commit a gun crime, think about who you'll leave behind. Gun crimes hit home.
Follow all that doubt and sadness And know that better things are on the way I know you've got a lot of good things happening up ahead The past is gone, it's all been said Here's to what the future brings I hope tomorrow you'll find better things 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 I know tomorrow you'll find better things Sex and violence has lost its charm I need something to amuse and war is boring, it's not enough I need a shock down to my shoes Pedophile lust, torture blood in the dust Take all you can As long as it's on a TV screen Keep it away from my house, man I'm long gone I'm long gone I'm long gone My senses are born to the Tell 